Okay, once you have a once you once you have your geometries and daylight ready in 3D Studio Max, now let's start uh, to uh, calculate or simulate uh, um, illumination level here. So I probably I will so kind of uh, what we need to do to simulate a light level is called actually a light meter. Light meter is under rendering and lighting analysis and then lighting analysis create and then I simply click light meter so this is under rendering lighting analysis and lighting analysis create and light meter then uh, you are ready to create one so I just draw a rectangle around your shading device a little bit larger than your shade because you know but in winter you may need a larger uh, light meter this is where that um, uh, and each here that you will see this corner point so far now it is set as a length segment as 3 by 3 also width segment so meaning that you don't calculate these 3 or 9 points so kind of this is very kind of loose resolution it has very loose resolution you are ready here so light meter is ready as you see that light meter is exactly on the ground so what we are going to do is we will a little bit move up slightly uh, so I will select uh, select and move and then I'll click right mouse button so then here I change the value of G like one feet then it is kind of one feet away so to prevent any overlap uh, okay so now the light meter is ready and let's calculate all you have to do so let's select uh, your uh, let's select the light meter you just created to select light meter I would change the filter from light to helpers so actually this light meter is called as one of the helpers so I just select uh, this helpers and select the light meter and then we want to change some parameters so we switch to this modify tab again then you probably see this uh, tabs here so 3x3 three three is a little bit too uh, too sparse so I change to at least 10x10 uh, 10 10, or actually I recommend you change to 20x20 20 20. So you have very dense uh, grid so kind of you will see the kind of how this uh, your shading devices pattern influence the pattern of shadow and then all you have to do make sure that you click the total illuminance which is default selection and all you have to do is simply click this calculate uh, all light meters then you have to wait a little bit and then actually you will see this kind of light pattern if you see some different color uh, because actually your maximum color and your minimum uh, your maximum illuminance and minimum illuminance uh, it's their color settings are different from mine so to change that to change your color setting so first of all uh, now my top view is activated I will enlarge it using this maximize viewport toggle so kind of this one shows nicely that how does the my shading device influence the kind of shadow pattern on the floor then you see that the empty middle one actually uh, provide light but this one has kind of nice surrounding area has a kind of shadow pattern so let's a little bit zoom in uh, so I kind of a little bit zoom in then you see that the shadowed area is actually 20,000 actually if you go to this styles a bit go that it's on its looks and the bright so lower shadowed area is about 20,000 but a large kind of really bright area is actually this one is 1.2 actually exponential 0, 0 0.5 so this one is roughly about 100,000 probably so uh, how to then actually uh, for you to update the color properly go to render and then go to lighting analysis and lighting analysis assistant so so far in under general tab if you a little bit, I will just make it a little bit longer. You see that my maximum is 150,000 and minimum is 1,000. So let's kind of change this one a little bit. So I would change this one. So let's say this one as like uh, 100,000. And then this one as, let's say the minimum is actually, uh, you see that this one is all white now. I will say this one is 20,000. Then you see that this one. So actually, you will see that uh, 100,000 is a little bit outside of it so I, I would change this one as maybe 200,000 
and then you kind of you will see this kind of see. I want to change this one as red, so I say I'm going back to 150,000. Actually, you see this one. If I a little bit lower than that, okay, and 20. Then use uh, 100 to 120,000. Then you see that you this number is changing. So, uh, play with this one. Uh, which one is good for you? It is very different based on locations and this climate. And also you will see the linear or logarithm. So make sure that which one looks good for you. Uh, again, this is not for aesthetics, but rather this one is for analysis. And actually, kind of like uh, it's just uh, make sure that what is good to good for you to figure out how does the your uh, shading device influence the floor. So okay, so this one is. Uh, I will into kind of explain how to create a light meter and then how to calculate uh, lighting simulation. Uh, one more thing is actually this one is um, okay. I will explain in the next video, but simply I show how to create a one light meter and then actually how to simulate it and change the color setting.